Hey guys, guys and welcome, welcome back, back to another, another video, video on our channel. Today, uh, we're gonna give you a live update on all the things that's been happening in the past month. In case you don't know us yet, that's Kristen, I'm Patrick, we're both 21 years old. We moved to Paris, well, eight months ago, yeah. and we're- Just waste the time. Uh, I, I, that's, it's crazy, it's it doesn't feel like it. No, it at all, like it at all. all. We're going to university and we wanna talk about that, but also about the language skills that might have improved or might not have improved, we will see. I guess let's begin, right? Let's hop right into it. <laughs> we have to do the like, whoosh, whoosh. We're dividing this video into several categories, so if you're not interested in the one category, you can just skip. We gotta have the time lapse uh, down below. Time lapse? Like the chapter, like the. Yeah, like the it's time. not time lapse. I'm tired. So, first of all, to start off, uh, about update about university. Yeah, l'université in Paris. Uh, in case you didn't know, I'm at the Sorbonne Nouvelle. And Kristen is at the... Uh, Montero University. Right, and we're both studying actually the same thing. So at the moment we're doing LEA, which is Langue étrangère appliquée. But you, um, yeah, you changed because beforehand you were... A sociology student. So I was yeah, a student of sociology uh, for one semester where I realized that it wasn't the thing for me. And um, because I heard so much good things about the LEA... <laughs> of course. Um, um, like... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Subjects yeah. about the Nissans. Um, yeah, I decided to change. I'm actually very happy about it. I really feel uh, um, like this is the right choice for me. And yeah, so now we are both studying the same thing. It took some time to get used to the French system, honestly. Yeah. Because uh, first of all, it was all very overwhelming. We didn't really know how to get our credit points. Uh, yeah. How do we pass the exams? Uh, how the, how do we pass the semester and yeah. so on? And yeah. I feel like we're still finding out new stuff. So we, I, I I don't think we know everything yet. No. But we did understand the system overall, like how we're gonna pass the semesters and yeah. actually how easy it kind of is um, it because, feels like yeah, yeah if you feel like one semester let's say you've got like 15 points from 20 overall your second semester could be a 5 out of 20 and you will still pass the entire uh, like year we cannot talk about every single major but what we can say about our major is that the language studies seem to be easier yeah Oh friends. yeah, especially because uh, we both have, for example, English as a language we were studying and obviously the yeah. French don't have the same standard, level, standard, standard, I guess, yeah. that we had in Germany. In Germany. Yeah. So uh, at the moment, it's it, it's not too difficult. Oh, we, we don't want to no. say too much because then we're going to yeah, fail. Yeah, that's the thing. It's going to be super embarrassing. That, 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 that's it, so yeah. Here in France, yeah. they have like uni how many months do we actually have where we actually have to attend uni i think it's six months six months yeah, yeah so okay. it's basically just half a year where you like have uni without with only one month uh off in between yeah in between uh vacation and, and a week or so yeah. and now we're gonna have five months of vacation yeah so yeah. we're definitely gonna use them you might want to follow us as there's quite something coming up yeah in, we're in, the so month excited. Or in 31 days in 31 days <laughs> we're gonna be in a, on a completely different continent for um at least three weeks and yeah. if you want to know where we are going, we're gonna take you on a journey, yeah. so that's gonna promote. Uh, it's gonna be so is. great. Yeah. We're gonna, we have to treat us right after this. Of course. Those so difficult semesters in <laughs> it <was> France. So <laughs> hard. We were like every single day for 24 hours. For those of you who might wonder how I changed mid um, uni here, so here in France you can actually um, do a reorientation, which means that you, yeah, you're changing your major, and you have the possibility to. Um, Still pass the whole year if you uh yeah pass your exams um during your vacation time. So actually, yeah. I do have to pass my rattrapage in order to uh, to validate, to validate my first semester. So I'm gonna be accepted into the second uh, year of bachelor. Okay, coming to uh, the great field of languages, uh, well, language, uh, I'd say. As we're in France, we obviously communicate mostly in French here. Actually. We got to a point where we only speak in French here, it with obviously like in supermarkets, in uni, obviously most um, yeah lessons are in French and I would say we actually uh, are doing quite well. Yeah. Obviously there's still quite something to improve there, that's quite clear. But, but I there think, will always be. Yeah, and that's the thing. Uh, I do believe that we're really comfortable speaking the French language. Especially in uni we got uh, like a lot of new words, so our vocabulary has expanded by a lot. and. Yeah. Also, like those slang words which you wouldn't be likely to learn, learn exactly, right? Exactly, when you would learn language in school or in language lessons, yeah. um, we kind of managed to speak way more natural than at the beginning. Exactly. We were like immersed in the culture and the Wish. 
<laughs> yeah, that if you're worrying about uh, having trouble wherever you're going to, if you're coming to France or any other country where the language is not your first language, with time you will yeah. improve and you will just... Uh, exactly, yeah. like don't worry, uh, it'll be fine. I think yeah. especially you in the beginning had a bit more problems because did. you didn't have that much... Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I, you know, you did have like uh, so much experience with French in the yeah. beginning, but especially Kristen has improved by so so much and what do, what do you think accent wise do you think that has improved uh well it would say so yeah, yeah definitely because at the beginning um i as i was not familiar with a lot of words i was just pronouncing things and i thought i they were pronounced but with time i feel like i have kind of i got like a feeling of how to yeah. pronounce stuff properly also because we we're listening yeah. to french like so much that really got better yeah that's it Obviously, we're not. You wouldn't consider us as French. If you want to like check out what we speak and what it's like to speak in French, you might want to check out our video here. We've been to the Arc de Triomphe and we've yeah. been speaking in French only. Yeah. So yeah, definitely check this one out. To maybe give you like an insight or some update about uh, the organizational stuff that it takes when you move abroad. Um, it has been a mess, as we already mentioned. Our as always. Less. Kind of yeah, thing? it was uh, in Invalif, right? I guess so, You yeah. might check this video out right here and see <laughs> what you have to do when you're coming to France. We were uh, to so many videos here, right. it's basically just a promotion video for all the other basically, videos. Basically. It's been a mess, as you said, and it's, yeah. we're still not getting very far with it. Especially, there are so uh, huge differences between the both of us. Like, yeah. for example, speaking of uh, CAF, which is the, I don't even know what it stands for, actually. It's like a state, uh, financial support by the state for... Um, accommodations, I guess? For accommodations, you know, for people who cannot uh, yes. afford their accommodations or like are in need of support. Yeah. Obviously, we are students. We did apply for it, and I applied three months later than you, and I've gotten it at the beginning of February this right. uh, year. So I've been waiting for around I think three months only um, you've been waiting for six months I guess uh, and more to come since it's still didn't get yeah. the money so it's very confusing of how they work on your demands and your issues I don't really understand how someone can wait for six months so and we others will get a faster it's just annoying but overall we would say that the yeah. most unconditional stuff we uh, yes, yes. have a bank account French That's number uh, we do yeah. have a social security right now yeah exactly even though you're still missing the still missing card the I guess chat, exactly. right yeah. but we're still we can still like get treated and stuff exactly. so it's not a bummer or Doctor something yeah I've also received my card already so I've got all this yeah. uh, green uh, carte vitale uh, which doesn't change a lot but like it, it's always good to have right if you want to know more about that aspect we can do next to video yeah, to definitely. give like guidelines because that would be something that would yeah. help us I guess if yeah I'm moving it here um, to have like an overview of what you have to get done okay uh, last point we're gonna get quite quite passionate uh, how do you feel no, 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 but, but like, <laughs> like, but like... So personally, I would say I feel in a, I feel very comfortable right now, I have to say. Like after all these months yeah. of a lot of, uh, of, of, of starting this adventure, I would even yeah. say. Moving abroad, leaving your old life behind and everything and having a lot of struggles, obviously, um, on the track, on the journey. I don't feel comfortable, I feel like I, I arrived. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Definitely. I also will agree with you. I think at the beginning was some sort of emotional roller coaster, and yeah. you had all those emotions, good feelings, bad feelings. Yeah. Like the contrast was really big. I feel like. It was. Uh, now we're definitely at a point where we're very comfortable. We're quite confident. We have yeah. friends, and we do meet them every single here and every single here and there. You, you get the point, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I've, I've gotten to know her friends and like we can go out and have our fun. We know so many locations right now, even though we're Paris is yeah. so huge, you don't know I would everything. I we're experts even, like we know a lot of good places to go yeah, and definitely, kind of places to get out of the city and so on. So to sum it up, we can say that until now, the last eight months, like experiencing this new journey abroad, we can really tell that we already grew a lot from yeah, all the things definitely. we had to go through. We learn a lot and yeah. uh, we get used to it and I think we're both, as we said before, really happy. We're quite excited for the future and stuff. It's been a great year, it has went far too fast and yeah. Oh, that's enough for now. Oh, <laughs> 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 lives are not that interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and so in case you're interested to watch our vlogs from a country that we're not gonna say yet. Right. Uh, you might wanna subscribe or... 
yeah, definitely share with your friends who are trying to move to France yeah. and let us know about your struggles. Maybe you're moving abroad and this is why you're watching this video. Exactly. Let us help you with whatever you have to do, wherever right. it's going to be. Also with other countries because we're not saying that we're going to uh, stay in France forever. So yeah, because know. you're moving to some other country, we're quite interested. Don't, Don't forget, forget to, to give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Share with your friends, don't leave it don't forget to leave a comment and see you next time. Bye bye! Au revoir. <laughs>